So recently, some group of people dressed in military regalia bombarded Oyo State Secretariat. That is in the southwest of Nigeria. They said that they are giving the governor of the state and the secretariat um, some couple of hours to vacate that Yoruba nation must begin. Well, Sunday Gowo is being targeted. They said Sunday Gowo is behind this. But you'll be shocked at what you're about to hear. About seven to six years ago, Yoruba nation was not really clamoring. They were a bit quiet. It was the Biafra nation, IPOB, spearheaded by Nam Kano. After a while, Northerners and their allies, their alien um, relatives in the Sahel, Senegambia, Mali, and wherever, they thronged into Nigeria via the north. In fact, a governor in the northern part of Nigeria said, there is no crime that, in fact, any Fulani or Fula-speaking person or whoever that is related or whatever looks alike should be given access to Nigeria and even citizenship. When he said it, nothing happened to that governor. And you know what happened next? We got influx of aliens in Nigeria. They came to the south and the southwest of Nigeria. This prompted Sunday Gbowo to rise up to the task. He understood the assignment. He fought back at this invasion. Why? Because these people became criminals, bandits, kidnapping. They had a singular agenda to hijack the farms in the southwest of Nigeria, in the south of Nigeria in general. People were unable to go to their farms, thereby shutting down agriculture in the south of Nigeria. Well, Sunday Gbowe, a Yoruba man from the southwest of Nigeria, fought back and this metamorphosed into Yoruba nation. But every struggle will always breed setting characters. A woman came out calling herself Ya Onitiri, Madam Onitiri. She said, oh, I am Abiola. I am the wife of Abiola. I am this and that. And uh, she came up with this uh, idea of getting Yoruba nation out of Nigeria. She talked about reclamation, proclamation, amalgamation, introduction, engagement. She came up with a lot and she got her own followers. Recently, she said this and let us watch. Let us watch what she said and we will see what Sunday at the MO Igbowo has to say. People Niwa, indigenous people Niwa, sovereign people Niwa, ethnic nationalists Niwa, we pay Kakuro, Nile, Nigeria. Ada Sikuro, ni November 2022. Ni ni Toje Ojo Kejila, Oshu Kenry, 2024. Nienje April 12th, 2024. Ipe ni ni pe Kakuro, pe aye sole sori son miti ori, pe lagbara tolon fi tasomo bie ni tasho. Pe lagbara tolon fi down on meje le, meje aye ati ogonto wa nwe pata pata. To ni on su pa era wako ma she, mo le aye, okuta ye bi ye ko ma she, mo le sale. E mi mo diko intra biola, mo proclaim sovereignty, democratic republic of the Yoruba. Ni e ni, ojo jimo, ojo kejila, o shu kenri 2024. La ti e ni lo, ile Yoruba, o bere joba ti e, o bere lu ti e, o become newest nation in the world. Ka akri agba ye, Yoruba, o dori le de, teni keni e utako, Tani keni o so kwe kori be, ori be ni, o she be ni, o ti wasi imu she, a she tolan fi da ugun to da, to ni koma be o sin be, a she nan, omo yoruba, ni e ni, Democratic Republic of the Yoruba, o bere joba dele, o ni sovereignty e, o bere agbara i joba e, la si e ni lo. E mi, mo jupe, o ni tiri abiola, mo tun tun sole e konsi, omo yoruba, indigenous yoruba descent ni mi, omo yoruba ni mi, Oko lo gwen ke wabiola ni mi. Omo ni tiri eko ni mi. Pe la ati le nyon lon. Pe la gbara tolon fin je e mi ni. Pe la gbara tolon fin je e ku. Pe la gbara tolon fin je e ri. Pe la gbara tolon fin je e ni ipe kun. Pe la gbara tolon fin je e ni okwen. Pe la gbara inyi ogo ola olon. Ni e ni yi. Mo proclaim ile yoruba. Mo issue proclamation, notification, publication, annunciation, pronunciation. Sovereignty, Democratic Republic of the Yoruba. Last year, in law, Democratic Republic of the Yoruba. Last year, in law, Democratic Republic of the Yoruba. O the nation, o ni sovereignty, o be sin she joba. Last year, in law, be alo sheri o ko yipada. Awa soke gogo rile de, 
ka akiri agbaye wipe komo wipe democratic republic of the yoruba is a new nation newest nation in the world number 55 in africa our indigenous people mokiwa pe aku orire ojo oni nitori olohun sha anu fun wa tori olohun anu edo titi ninu aye wa are anu gba a she declaration ni jo sunday november 20 2022 a reclamation ni jo sunday december 18 2022 pelu ati leyin olohun pelu anu olohun pelu je kan olohun a she proclamation ni eni friday april 12 2024 pelu ati leyin olohun o ti wa si imuse o ijoba de le ti bere kusin to yi pada mo omo yorubo boju weyin mo waju waju ni oke oke la nlo lo ile ala yi pelu ati leyin olohun ati ni sovereignty wa ati bere ijoba wa olohun ti sanu fun wa ati re anu gba mo congratulate gbogbo omo yorubo o gbogbo indigenous yorubo people patapata iyp to democratic republic of the yorubo mo ki wa aku ori re olohun sanu fun wa are anu gba ka ma ran olohun ni gba gbogbo ka ma fo pe ka ma fi yin po olohun gbogbo gba ta ba tun ri awon nkan to da to da to olohun se fun wa e je ka ma yin olohun ka ma fo pe fun olohun ni gbogbo gba se ra omo yorubo iyp afani to po gan a ma bere sin ri ni kia kia ori sisi ore ore nkan to da la koko awon kan kan wa te pe ti awon mo iyp ton ba gbewo ile yoruba duty free ni o gbogbo ela se ma sha laye gbogbo ba mo yoruba se ma ri owo lati fi business lati fi chocolate gbogbo ela se ma sha laye gbogbo re to po o nbo fa awon mo yoruba to ra ati ni control over resources wa ati ni control over destiny wa ta lati leyin olohun a pe gbo ilu lagbaye ki won mo wi pe yoruba o ti the democratic republic of the yoruba the newest nation in the world ati dori lede o so long live IYP, long live DIY, Democratic Republic for the Yoruba. Kolon ko bless, kolon ko shanu, ori le de Yoruba ti wan ti wa. So mwenda wa ti kwa Yoruba nation, Yoruba nation. Tara wako ronu lo, Sunday, Igbo. Olo yi Sunday adi yema, Sunday Igbo. Ine ya koko ronu lo. Bo la si ashe. Eye ye wa, jake jadu akba ye. Olo yi Sunday adi yema Igbo. Wwen si nan jiri asu gwa wanti wa lori eto. Bye, 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 bye. Eje ki won ba wa soro. Hello sir. Hello sir. Thank you sir. Ah, 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 ah Orukom ni Sunday adi emoti bubu mo Sunday bu. Lori oro to sele ni security ni ba ne miyana. Ba wasin si Yoruba tiwa ni Santiwa oni awo esi kutuwa. Emi ubu mo kakanpa. Mo de ni ba bubu baba mi ba njia kito yewo mani tiwa. Bubu awa ta jo kura wa jo ti ni ka akiri omo na bro talan si Yoruba ni sen. Ta njia peto bubu mo Yoruba. Eni kaka omo kwa onto losi e. Isi ba asin ja fun e to ti wa ni e. E ri kojo ta tun ti struggle yen. Nigbati buari ni won wa nbe. So je fulani. O si bi a lo secretariat, a ya ba like olopa, a ya ba like soja. A nbo sita lati se rally. Ehe, lati ti mo lo nkan ti mo de, a nse rally yen ka akiri lati bi ri peto wa ni. Pe fulani o le a le laju wale ki fulani mo pa won baba wa, pa won family wa kan mo je kan ni kan le lo so ni ko. O ta wa nja fun ni e. Ehe. So, a joy party more than sing by Eric Bugbara, Fulan Nikan or Possible could see you back and come back. One can suppose you want it. Be on back around long. Some back by don't say Bugon, no set up. What now for the amnesty? Lori, I don't talk back. So Bugon can see our congo and have a daddy for Luba Baba and Jacket at our back. So I'm going to allow about to support you. I'm going to go to buy. Give us a big hour for our Jacoba Lono's office here on the Rebus Ecterat. Tell me where you are with it. Talk alone to any. Eri pa won to lo yen te ba won dada eri pa license ni won won gbadun ati je to to do lori won to lo ohun ro won re ohun lo won ra won eri ko nu o gba wele le kon ti mo toju won se mi o se mo ngbo mi nira ni e e wa lo office yi awon ere bu e wa lo joko e ta flag eleyin yo ba ni so lai ya were eri ko polon do won dada so mo fe ki gbo omo yo ba kon focus yo ra won era dada ba mo de fe ki joba pe lo yo kon investigate won dada kon de ri kon mu ru awon iyan dadada ton ran won ru se daku daku bayi lati mo fi da wa laye bi igba te kan da luru lemi ri yan si ta ba fe se gbogbo rally wa an a so ti gbogbo ayo gbogbo gbogbo mo yo ba de ma gbo ajo fo fo opo ni ehe ta jo jade tan lati bere fe to wa ni ke se pe 
awon ka pa kura njo bi mejo e wa lowo ka ki soja e wa se e mo te fun we lo e e ti mo gogoro we lo fagboyo e wa lo no office awon e ke fe mo ka awon e kun be nto fe jale o ke fe jin kan te tira awon yo se yoba nisa awon se yoba o ka fe lo lefu pe yoba nisa yen popular aye de mo awon to wa nbe lati fi hu wa buruku ni lati fi buruko wa je ni so olohun ni buruko ti na je olohun de ni je kile yoba o ba je olohun de je ki olohun gbo mi ni ra to ye fun yoba lasi olohun e se pe ru lefu rada da tawon ko kire awon mo gangan gba o emi ati baba ati gbo atajo si oba ni se ka kire am ni tin gba oton se yen rara 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 so e se mo do pe gan e se e gbe to e sa edakun awon wo ni is there any breakout in tawon kan ti yapa ku o lara yin ni e <laughs> Minera twenty twenty two. Is a one winning here? Minera twenty twenty two. Motis send the video, and that's what I'm talking about. Eh, Motis send the video, everybody to declare to Lotic by our lady Uba. Video and a woman posted to be holy. I send the sea or motto and bay. I will feed you. All on to go in a day, Uba. All on to go in a play video and bay. A married video alone, Motimo send your motto for me. What I want to phone off from Governor Mark at any time, get down about the Monday bay. Governor se e ro pe kini yi o o ti ba yin ni oruko je die tabi pe ipa ti yo ni ni inu egbe ti pe ipa yen ma le po to ku bi monumental damage kini nkan te ro ko buruko wa je ko de nipa kan kan to le ko egbe ti wa awo le jade ni meji meta a le jade ni mewa e na mo ko ta ba fe jade a a a a ro tele wa rara a le ni 20000 people e ro lo me rara ni awon ka wa kura won jo bi mewa won la won yoba ni san aye mo popo lo ndo awon yen ni e wa lo do so kire e lo wa ja ki office honorable e ka mo pe wele gidi o ni won ti daro won wa yin ibo bi won wa loju ogun e wa yin ibo bi wa den so ten de gbo ten de gbo oya rusi mi gen rusi e la ya wele so e ri gbe se mo like ye o e baba mata wo se ni oro san so la na e gbe awon ro pe awon yen won ti awon ti won mu drug ni awon kan won pe yen kan gidi in fact baba yen ko lo je mi ogun pelu don e lo wa ja ki office honorable e ga mo pe wele gidi o ni won ti daro won wa yin ibo bi won wa loju ogun e wa yin ibo bi wa den so ten de gbo ten de gbo oya rusi mi gen rusi e la ya we so e ri message mo like ye o e baba father wo se ni oro tan so la na e gbe awon ro pe awon yen won ti awon tun mu drug ni awon o ka won pe yen kan gidi in fact baba ni kolo je mi ogun pelu don so yen mo like ese yen won la won ro pe awon topo london tori won ti daro ni because awon yen awon o ka won ken tori won pe pelu nkan ton wa se Ah, inu wa du be se tete jade ti e soro yi edakun e ma dake o tori pe abani lorin je ki ba ni gbe ba se da hmm baba e ma dake e se gan ni o e se yes sir e ku eto welcome back now it is clear according to sunday ademo igbowo that he is not involved neither is professor banji akitoye involved in what happened in oyo state Nigeria, that they had not given anyone any go ahead. Neither did Professor Banji Akitoye give anyone any go ahead to invade the Secretariat of your state. Well, majority of those that uh, did that have been arrested and uh, they have been questioned. At the end of the day, it is clear, according to what Sunday Guru is saying, that Onitiri is the one who sent out this group of people to do what they did now let us go back memory lane who is onitiri and what is our connection to um a late mko abiola a man who was mysteriously taken out in the custody of the military government in those years 
after he declared himself um, president of Nigeria, um, claiming that he won the election. Now, Onichiri was one of the women that had a child for MKO Abiola, and uh, she puts herself as wife to MK Abiola. She said that she has been on this struggle, um, Yoruba nation struggle, ever since they refused um, her husband to be the president of Nigeria. And she said that uh, she has the um, she has the the qualification to contest. She has the qualification to be president of Yoruba nation. She has the qualification to to stand and fight for Yoruba nation. Now, that's not a problem. Anyone can rise up with his own ideology to do what they need to do. But the thing about it is this. Majority of these people, apart from Sunday Bu, who was on ground, majority of these people, apart from Nnam the Kanu, um, who um, was extraordinary, you know, he was taken out. There is something that I say about many of them. That's what I'm trying to say. They keep themselves safe and they keep, they keep giving the order. <laughs> and those that are on ground are the ones that will face it. And she has said it one time that uh, uh, definitely if you have to regain, if you have to reclaim, people will lose their lives. But he, um, he or she will lose her life should know that they lost it for something good. But she has an idea and this idea will not bring about uh, anyone losing their lives. But unfortunately, um, what happened recently, um, it's a little bit uh, like, um, I mean, Sunday Go is saying, that woman is a fraud. That woman does not have any sense at all. That woman is uh, foolish. I have never met her. And this is not how we go about our own. Uh, we tell everybody, and everyone is aware, if there is going to be a protest or anything or rally, it will not be something secret. We will talk about it. We will all agree. Recall that that protest or let us say rally was about to happen in Lagos um, when the government, that was sometimes July, when, when, when Buhari's government struck at Sunday Bo and uh, he was lucky to have escaped. Some people lost their lives. The rally could not hold proper in Lagos State. It could not hold proper in Lagos State. Now, Sunday Bowo returned back and then uh, he still, he still, he still, he still, he did talk of Yoruba nation and afterwards he left Nigeria back to the to the i think um germany or uk he, he, he left to 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 europe and he's saying i'm not part of this i am not somewhere commanding people to go and occupy or your state secretariat that Iyaonitiri or abiola or whatever she calls herself according to him and uh, he has no business with that woman that she's the one who is um behind this one and she should be arrested meaning she should also face um what he as face. I don't think Onitiri will ever come back to Nigeria. I don't know where she is. Um, no one knows the exact point or location that she is. Is she in Africa? Is she in Europe? Most of the times, most of the, I think she'll be either in America or in the UK. We don't know uh, where she is exactly. But uh, what we heard is that she has declared herself the president of uh, the Federal Republic of Yoruba Nation and that uh, she has sworn in certain people um, in their room um, to be the governor or, or representative somehow or the prime minister something like that well Sunday Go has issued that disclaimer I am not involved I'm not behind this this is not how our own movement is this is not our own Yoruba nation Yoruba nation will be gotten but this is not me not Professor Banja Kintoye we have no business with this she is the one doing this Simple as ABC. I'm kind of thinking that uh, she got on this Yoruba nation um, as a result of the anguish or pain that she had back in those years when Abiola was taken out. And she also saw the movement, how fervent people are on it. So how, how, how fervent it is. And she also got on it. I think that's what she did in the hope that she'll be able to channel her energy into it. How much money she got from it that i do not know was there any donation i don't know but what i know is that she 
talks a lot about reclamation, proclamation, amalgamation, induction, introduction, settlement, resettlement, reclaiming, reclamation, declaration, affirmation. She says a lot of these things and um, I don't think that there is any way to get Nigeria to split apart easily uh, by just saying any of these things. You see, those that want Nigeria to remain together as one, they are still alive. These are the um, foot soldiers or the, 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 the instrument of the colonialist. Many of them believe that Nigeria should remain as one because of the resources that are littered in different parts of, the world, or, or, of Nigeria. Some of them have reasons why they want Nigeria to remain as it is. The thing is this, it's not working. That is the truth of it. It is not working. Nigeria is not working. And breakup of Nigeria might help certain region develop. But then, these regions will also have problems. For example, there is nothing like Biafra as at today. There is nothing like Biafra. That ideology is not going to work. Even back then, the ideology of Biafra did not work. Because there are certain people who have oil on their land, the South-South, who were not ready to be part of Biafra. They don't want to be part of Biafra. They don't want an Igbo-dominated Biafra that will want to muscle on them with what they have. And they know it's going to result into conflict. So they don't want it like, we are not going to share. We don't, have, we don't have any culture with you guys. Our language is different. In fact, even if you say there is similarity, we don't want to be your brothers. That's the kind of world that we are. So talk about Biafra. It's not going to be possible that Asari Dokubo and his kinsmen, his ethnic group, we want to join with Inam the Kanu's group. No, it's not going to work. It will never work. It's not going to work. So the Igbos can as well take their five states and form their own where they speak same language. Any country that wants to break apart and they do not speak same language, it will not work. That is why the idea of Inam the Kanu IPOB is dead on arrival. It's not going to work. It will never work, regardless of the passion um, anyone has about it. You have to think clear. You don't want to break and then begin problem. It will be an implosion. You must be a nation that speaks same language, not culture. Culture can be borrowed. Culture can be copied. Culture can be borrowed. Culture can be copied. You see? So, those that speak your language and it is ingrained in their culture, those are the people that you should stick together. So, the Igbos can stick together. Then in the southwest of Nigeria, um, they speak one language, but we are seeing some people say that they are not sons or daughters of Odudua and that uh, they are not Yorubas and that, but there are a few, maybe one or two um, parts here and there, you know. But it's not as complex as the southeast of Nigeria. So guys, what do you think about this? Sunday Go has issued a disclaimer. Drop your comment, like, and share. See you in the next update.